What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and today we're going to have a little fun and dream match using this guy, this lady, and this guy here. Three of my most favorite characters in the game. Not the most favorite, right? I mean, Rugal's obviously number one in KOF. Leona's my number one waifu. And Kazuya is just really, in my opinion, one of the best Tekken characters that I can play with. I love this guy. He's not my favorite Tekken character, although I do love him. Heiachi is, but man, he's just terrible, so I'm not actually going to use him. Sorry, man, I love Heiachi. He's my boy, but he just isn't the greatest when it comes to playing, even in Dream Match. But before we get any more into this video, I do want to bring up this right here, guys which is the winners for the uh, Angel Gift Screenshot event. So I just want to say congratulations to all of these winners. I think it's pretty awesome, man, that these guys were able to get in here and get it done and for participating. That's pretty damn awesome. And then on a sour note, I want to say, you know, these people that are being banned and they're only being banned for a certain amount of time, like if you've been cheating, which I don't know why you would do, well, I know why you would do it, but whatever happening, just earning your way and actually just playing through the game, right? It's so much more rewarding to earn everything that you have instead of just cheating and getting it. Although I guess uh, these individuals would feel a little bit different about that. But yeah, that's unfortunate that these players did get banned. But, uh, well, they shouldn't have been cheating, right? And uh, if players get caught cheating a few times in that marble, like if they get caught cheating three times... They should be permanently banned. You guys always do these little band-aid warnings and things to them. And it really doesn't teach them anything at all. I just wanted to throw that out there at Netmarvel and let them know that, hey, man, you really should be just getting rid of these players that try to take full advantage of the system, that cheat constantly in multiple game modes. I mean, these are the things that cost good players their fun in the game, right? It costs them a lot. It's really not fair to them at all. We lost all of our rubies and championship because of that kind of thing, because players kept cheating, abusing the system, gaining tons and tons of rubies. So Netmarble decided to remove the rubies from championship, and then it screwed all the legit PvP players, right? It's just, and they, you, know, you see cheating throughout the entire game as far as other things as well, like these crazy time attack scores or you know the, what people had did in Spider-Robot when it first showed up and so on and so on and so on. But Netmarble always does this band-aid thing where they just, no, they do a little ban for, you know, a, a week or something. But, like, if they get caught three times, if someone gets caught cheating of three times, three times, they should be banned permanently. Now they'll probably just start another account and start up again, but that's really what Netmarble should be doing. Now, let's get to the heart of the video, which is Dream Match. Now, I'm just going to do some live runs for you guys. I might get my butt whooped. You know, I'm not the greatest player, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I fought 30 times so far. I got a 73% win rating, which isn't the greatest, you know, but it's okay, you know, especially considering I don't really play that much PvP. And the thing that I love about this game mode is that, yeah, there are some broken characters in here. There are some characters that are pretty crazy to deal with and i won't deal with them uh characters like uh shizuru uh Ginnitz, ramlethal like all those characters are very very strong in this game and there's others as well on hell guys like grab characters are really really good in this because you don't have your hyper armor you literally got to dodge their attacks and dodge right. And if they have quick animations, they can catch you when you dodge and still grab a hold of you and knock you around. So that can be actually really, really difficult as well. Uh, Ash is another one that I actively avoid. But in this game mode, I mean, you can play with whatever characters you want that's been introduced into this game. That is sensational. Right? That is awesome that you can play with whoever you want. I love it so much. My one critique of Dream Match right now is that we don't have a invite friend button. Netmarble, please, please give us an invite friend button. That would be so awesome for all of us. I mean, do you know what we could do with that? Oh, my God. We could have solid tournaments surrounding this game mode where people could play with their favorite characters. And every single player in the game would have these characters to play with. That would be so awesome. It was so awesome. So please give us a friend invite button that would be lit as a Christmas tree. Now, I know that I can hit that question mark and I can try to get Kusanagi. But here's the thing, guys, when it comes to a player like me. 
When I play games, I play for fun. I don't care about having the most OP character at all times. I really just don't. I don't care about it, you know. I just like having a good, good time. That's what games are all about to me. So I'm playing with my favorite characters in this game mode. I'm not trying to get Kusanagi because the thing about getting Kusanagi is if you do click on that question mark, maybe you get him, maybe you don't, right? It's complete RNG. But you might be playing with characters you don't want to play with. And that's what I have a problem with. I have a problem with that, right? Like if you just had one hidden button here where like, say like I, I took out Leona and I just had a question mark on this block right here and then I could get Kusanagi or whatever other character, that wouldn't be so bad. But whenever you're going for Kusanagi, your whole team is RNG based. And I'm just not into that, guys. I'm not into that at all. It's not worth it to me just to go for one character. Yeah, he's OP, but it's just not worth it. All right, so we got a soul bad guy, we got Kiel, and we got Shane. And here's something else that's nice. You know, normally when I see Saul, I'm thinking to myself, oh, crap, stunning machine. And really the same thing for Shane, right? But here you don't have to worry about it. There is no CC effects at all in this game mode. There's none, which is pretty damn lit. Pretty damn lit. So we'll see how I do, uh, how well I can play here. I'll probably get destroyed. I mean, more than likely. I mean, I don't know. Oh, they threw in Jin. That's cool. So I'm going to start with Kazuya, and then we'll start go with Rugal here and see how well we can do. Oh, man. Major Waifu right there. Good old Shane. Yeah. Let's do it. Now, something that's nice is none of these three characters that they're using have grab skills. All right, so we're going to try to bait him a little bit and try to swoop behind him and uh, sweep him and start going into our combos. If this thing ever starts up. This is one thing you will deal with is some connection issues. Love this music. Oh, my God. Love the Tekken music. So lit. That's something else that's nice about this. Do a few basics. Third skill, a few basics. Few basics. There we go. Booyah. Getting it done. Getting it done. Ooh, no zitches. All right. Yeah, sometimes I notice that my, uh, Hopefully we get a hold of them there. Okay, nice. I do notice every once in a while, like my directional button will kind of go crazy. Booyah, booyah, booyah. And I really love the awakening mechanic in here. That is really, really cool. Now, something that's also nice about this game mode is the guard gauge. You can only guard so long, and then your guard will get, just get broken. Let's go. And ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I just kept singing, oh my god. Bro, what are you doing? Nice, nice, nice. There we go. Good fight, buddy. Good fight. Man, so fun too, man. Because, you know, you have balance in this game mode, right? You don't have all these broken cores. And whether I'd have won or lost that game, it wouldn't have mattered to me, right? Because it's just still a good time. It's still fun to play in these kinds of things, right? It's awesome.
Right, so we got Bond. I am not fighting Bond. Guys, Bond is broken in this crap. He is broken. Man, is he broken. Uh-uh. That dude's crazy strong in this. So we got Akuma, Ryu, and uh, Kyo. I'll go ahead and try it. Right, I might lose. I might lose. I mean, these guys are all really, really good in this game mode, especially with a really good player. But we'll see. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get destroyed. Akuma, he can be a real he can be a real nuisance sometimes, especially with his first skill that constantly resets. But uh, you know, I don't mind challenging myself once in a while. But some characters in here, they're like I said, some of the earlier ones that I mentioned, they're just so broken. I don't really enjoy fighting them because people just spam their skills over and over and over. And really, you don't get a chance to get in there and get any attacks in, which kind of makes it boring, in my opinion. This is something else that's nice, man. You know, like, there's really nothing at stake whether you win or lose for the most part. This guy's got pretty bad ping, so this is going to be a bad match. He's probably going to win because we're going to be dealing with so much lag. Yeah, I mean, it's just... Yeah, the lag's going to be terrible. Yeah, I'm probably going to lose this because I uh, ain't feeling it. Yeah, this is bad. And this is, this is the worst thing about like any game mode like this is the... You, like, you might get caught with somebody that has a really bad connection, and then you got to deal with this kind of stuff. I mean, it, this really goes without saying that you're always going to deal with these kinds of things. And uh, really, I'm just waiting for the player to quit because it's his connection that's given the problem, not mine. I mean, obviously, my connection's pretty damn good here, but his is uh, pretty damn bad. So now you just kind of wait it out, and uh, yeah. So that's a bummer, man. That's a bummer that had happened, but I'm actually glad it did happen because anytime like you have that lag, there's also certain characters that just, they're just really hard to deal with. Like if you're playing a championship and say you're playing against Halloween Chris and there's lag, oh my God, that character becomes an absolute nightmare to deal with. So we'll try one more match, guys. See if we can pick up anybody here. Right, all right, all right, all right. But I just love the game mode, man. I think it's awesome. I'm so happy they brought this back. As I'm so just like bringing this back is, is nutty, guys. I'm going to go ahead and back out of here, try this again. Well, if this ever connects. Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go. So we got Mature, we got Choi, and we got good old Shingo. Now, never ever judge a book by its cover when it comes to this game mode, guys. No matter what character you play against, if you're playing against a good player, you would be surprised at how well these characters can play. Or how good they actually can be. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Seriously, I've been blown away by some, some players' skills in this game mode. Like, see him already blocking? See, I got screwed up there. Okay, we're just going to wait. This is a smart player. See, see what he's doing? This is a smart player that I'm fighting against. You can tell by how he plays, the way he's guarding, especially when he, he knows, especially the way he's using his waking skill, the way he's timing it. Very slick. There we go. Oh, yeah. Kazuya getting it done. Good damage. I tried hitting my awakened skill, but yeah, not quite. Like I said, man, you'd be surprised by some of these characters. Like how well they can actually are. See, well time.
Nice, nice, nice. Got him with the God Press there. All right, oh, shingle. Oh, I was blocking, but I, I guess I uh, didn't have much life left. Okay, okay. So, man, we're down to the one to one. Oh, I, I screwed up there. I went for the kill, which was a bad idea. Block, 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 block. Good fight, man. It was a good fight. Like I said, guys, you just never know like, uh, like you're going to win or lose. So that was a good fight. Very well played. You can tell this player's played this quite a bit. Uh, definitely by his skill level. Very good job, man. So nice. Nice. Good fight, buddy. Awesome. So, I mean, Dream Match is lit like a Christmas tree, man. I'm having so much fun playing it, guys. Let me know how you're doing in Dream Match. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. June plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody.